ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else watching. <laughs> it's been a while, so I um, shaved, and I'm glad. But it didn't happen that as soon as I shaved, I looked 10 years younger. It didn't happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, it feels better, so yay. I'm not Tinsworthy anymore. I'm on my way to be Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry. It was much less known than on M. Starts tonight, rehearsal, and Fester has already started. They started a while ago. I think the show was postponed. They, uh, the show was postponed, but I don't know if it was postponed once or twice or what. But um, There were people at the rehearsal who had never been at the rehearsal before. Last time I worked with them, some people dropped out and so forth. And some people were last minute additions and so forth. Um, but being Pulitzer was a great opportunity for me, so I'm glad I did that. This one, Adam's family, I am by far the oldest person in the cast. I like it when there's, you know, some kids and some somebody older than me and somebody, you know, 40, 30, 20, that's nice. Um, but this one, it's like, uh, there's all these kids and then there's me. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, getting used to how I look. I feel sorry for you. No, I'm kidding, kidding. All right, so let's see what's on the radio today. This is Monday. I have a day off. I'm taking care of some errands. And on the radio for our listening pleasure is obviously that's Legends 100.3, which you can find all over the world, not just here in South Florida. Huh? I like it. I don't know who it is though. I don't know if Peggy Lee ever sounded like that, but I think she kind of could sound like that if she wanted to. I don't think they're going to tell me right when I want them to who that is. Oh, they switched songs. Anyway, so I don't know who that was, so I don't have anything to say about that, but I will say that singing's a wonderful thing. Arnold Eric said that everybody should sing, just like everybody should fast, and everybody should only eat the things he thought everybody should eat. The mucusless diet for which Arnold Eric is famous, he H-R-E-T, Arnold Errett, is all about air, which is interesting because his name is Errett, but it's with the E, E-H-R-E-T, the German spelling. Um, and he is emulated by people who want to only eat certain things, but he advocated exercise and he adv advocated singing to help the lungs. His whole... Um, belief system was built on the lungs being the engine for the body. The heart is obviously a valve, not a pump. The lungs are the pump. And his whole idea was getting air in through exercise and through singing. So if you want to read his mucusless diet or look into his biography, that's an interesting movie it would be. Um, but I don't know. I don't think anybody knows anything about diet, but you know, 
just because I don't know doesn't mean somebody doesn't know. So that was, I don't know, a female singer that sounds good, a male singer that sounds good. I recognize the male singer. Can't place his name. Here he is. It's just the gypsy in my soul. His other songs are better to me than that one is, but I've heard that one a few times and it's, you know, it's a good recording. Let's do one more. See what else we get. Y100. I think Y100 showed up when I was in high school. It's possible Y100 showed up when I was in junior high school. But it doesn't seem like it was always there as my awareness of radio stations grew. But it's still here. Yay! And I'm at my location, so that's, I don't know, the most boring video of the week, perhaps. Happy Monday, everyone.